course, they had a cavern. Megan is dining in the middle of the deep forest. Sent live feeders with through the canopy of poop. The air vibrates with the sound of insects, and every breath feels fresher than anything you've inhaled in the city. Forests are more than just collections of trees. They are living, breathing ecosystems that shape our climate, sustain our economies, and support life on Earth, including ours. In this video, we'll explore why forests are often called the heart of the Earth, how they function, why they are irreplaceable, and what happens to our planet. If they disappear, one forest, the lungs, the liver, and the heart of the planet. Forests are often described as the lungs of the earth because they absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen. But this nickname is not enough. If earth were a body, forests would be much than lungs. They. Also, be the liver, cleaning pollutants from the environment, the skin protecting the ground from erosion, and even the heart, pumping life through the veins of ecosystems across the planet. Forests cover roughly 31% of the Earth's land surface. It, they deliver benefits that extend far beyond their boundaries. They regulate temperatures, store water, generate rainfall, nourish soil, and provide home to millions of species. Every tree is a powerhouse. It converts sunlight into food. It pulls carbon from the air. It creates shade that cools the ground. It supports organisms from fungi to mammals. Multiply that by trillions of trees. And you begin to understand why forests are among the most vital systems on Earth. Two, it sorts of grids. How forests produce and balance our season. Many people believe rainforests produce most of the world's oxygen. This is partly true. Forests generate massive amounts of oxygen. They also consume. Also, at night or when dead organic matter decomposes. However, the net oxygen provided by forests is still immense, especially because forests store carbon long term, preventing carbon dioxide from accumulating in the atmosphere. The abundant rainforest alone produces about 20% of the world's oxygen. Making it one of the most important ecosystem for respiration, not just for wildlife, but indirectly for humans. This balance of gases absorbing carbon dioxide, releasing oxygen, and storing carbon helps stable light that atmosphere. Forests essentially buffer the planet from the worst effects of human activity. Three, rainmakers. How forests control weather and climate. One of the most extraordinary functions of forests is their ability to generate rain. Trees pull water from the ground through their roots and release it into the air through transpiration. This creates water vapor that eventually forms clouds. In rainforests like the Amazon, this The process is so powerful that the forest creates its own rainfall cycle, producing up to half of its own precipitation. Moisture released in the Amazon can travel thousands of kilometers, affecting rainfall patterns across South America and even influencing weather in North America and Africa. Forests also cool the planet by shading the ground and reflecting sunlight. Without forests, global temperatures would rise dramatically. Climate models show that losing the world's tropical forests could cause massive shifts in global rainfall, including droughts and regions that rely on distant forest-generated rain. This is one of the reasons scientists say climate engine. 
4. Homes of Life Biodiversity in Forest Ecosystem Forests are the most biologically diverse ecosystem on Earth. Tropical rainforests cover only 6% of the Earth's surface, yet they contain more than half of all known species. Inside a single hectare of rainforest, you might find hundreds of tree species, thousands of insect species, dozens of mammals, numerous birds, reptiles, amphibians. Forests act as genetic banks, containing DNA that has evolved over a million of years. This diversity supports ecosystem by ensuring its resilience. If one species declines, others can take its place in the food web. This biodiversity also supports human life. Many medicines, foods, and biological compounds come from forest plants. For example, when nine. Due to treat malaria comes from forestry, as perennial or resinate with from willow bark, about 80% of the world's population still relies on land-based traditional medicines. Every time a forest species disappears, humanity potentially loses a cure, cure a food source, or a scientific breakthrough. Bye forests and civilization, why humanity depends on them. Forests have shaped human history. Asian civilization thrived around forests because they provided fuel, shelter, food, fiber, and tools. Today, forests do its support. 1.6 billion people who depend directly on forest resources. More than 10 million livelihoods in forestry, colors, industries, including paper, medicine, textiles, and construction. Forests also protect essential environmental service for modern societies. They shield watersheds, preventing floods, filtering drinking water, and maintaining stable water supplies for agriculture. In many reasons, forests access natural barriers against disaster. Mangroves protect coasts from tsunamis. Forest slopes prevent landslides. Then vegetation reduces storm impacts. Forest economic value is massive, but their ecological value is private. Six, the silent crisis. What happens when forests disappear? Despite their importance, forests are disappearing at alarming rates each year. The world loses approximately 10 million hectares of forest, an area roughly the size of South Korea. Deforestation is get driven by agriculture, especially soy, palm oil, beef, logging, mining, urban expansion, wildflowers, climate change. The consequences are severe. Climate breakdown. Losing forest accelerates. Um, losing forests accelerate climate change, historic carbon, it's released into the atmosphere, lots of rainfall, reasons that when the forests become drier, affecting farming, drinking water, and industry, collapsed ecosystem, species go extinct, food chains break, soil loses fertility, threats to human life. Fewer forests mean more floods. Severe drops, deadly heat waves, and water scarcity. In some places, such as Indonesia and parts of Brazil, the lots of forest has already shifted local climates, creating new patterns of drop and fight. Forests are vanishing, but repairing them is much harder than destroying them. 7. The remarkable intelligence of forests. Forests communicate. This may sound like science fiction, but underground networks of fungi, no odds, mycohydro networks, connect tree roots, allowing trees to share nutrients in chemical signal. Through the networks, trees can warn neighbors of insect attacks, share water during drought, feed nutrients to
Manga trees, support sick or dying trees, called prick crustaceous. Some scientists call this phenomenon the wood wide web. Its intelligence doesn't resemble human thinking, but it is a sophisticated biological communication network that helps flowers stay healthy and stable. It is one more reason for such be seen as a living system, not just collections of trees. Eight. Restoring the hat. Can we save the woods for it? The good thing is that forests can recover slowly and only with help. Effective solutions include forestation and afforestation, protecting intact forests, supporting the indigenous community, sustainable agriculture, reducing meat consumption, choosing certified forest products, restoring mangroves and coastal forests. Enforcing anti-logging laws, encouraging urban greening. Studies show that forests recovery could absorb up to one third of all human-produced carbon emissions. Recovery requires long-term commitment. A tree that can be cut down in minutes, but it takes decades to grow and centuries for a forest to mature. Nine, a final reflection: Why forests truly? Are the heart of the earth. Forests breathe for us. They cool the earth. They shape the rain. They feed it. Share it. Heal it. And teach us. They form the cradle of biodiversity, the backbone of the climate, and the spiritual home of human cultures across history. Without forests, there is no stable climate. There is no clean water. There is no oxygen balance. There is no future. Forests are not just resources; they are the hearts of the earth. When the heart weakens, the entire body suffers. But if we choose to protect it, if we value forests' living, sacred system, then the earth can heal slowly, steadily, beautifully.